Hello everyone, hope you are well on this Tuesday night. I'm going to talk about an article that I was reading over a while ago about how inflation is going to win the war, according to this article, according to uh, this person. And uh, so I'm also going to give some suggestions of how we should deal with that or prepare for that possibility. I also have a very good passage I want to share that I believe will be a big help. But first, I saw this earlier as well. It said that a House bill is being proposed that will effectively, it will, it will criminalize social media postings that support white supremacy or replacement theory. That's a new one on me, the replacement theory. Not familiar with that term, but this has been proposed by Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas. How do these people keep getting elected? How, how does this person keep getting elected? I really, I, I don't know. Uh, it won't pass, most likely won't pass. However, says a lot about how hard they're coming for the First Amendment. We know they're coming for the second. They're also coming for the first and some others. But this would effectively create thought crimes. These have to be some of the most evil people. They really do. They really do. I, I, I'm convinced of that. Okay, I better stop at that on that story before I get myself in trouble. Uh, there's also an article out of Zero Hedge that I was reading. Uh, this was uh, Peter Schiff is talking about inflation. He said it's going to win. It's going to win the war. I'm just going to read a couple of things from it. But uh, he's explaining that the Fed is not winning the war. It is losing and it will ultimately surrender to inflation. Many people think the Fed will reverse course later this year and start cutting interest rates. He agrees that there's a good chance they may actually do that. The Fed may actually cut rates later this year. He thinks there's an even better chance that the central banks will ret uh, bank returns to quantitative, quantitative easing, whether it cuts rates or not. But this uh, pivot won't be because of a victory in the war against inflation. He says, no, they're going to surrender. Inflation is going to win that war. The Fed is going to run to fight another battle. At least it's going to try to fight because it's going to lose that battle too. The battle is going to be recession, maybe financial crisis. I think we're already in a recession and we could be into a depression. That's just my thoughts. Uh, maybe a battle to try to prop up the U.S. government whose insolvency is becoming a bigger problem with rising interest rates. Whew. Uh, the fact that credit card debt is skyrocketing as savings rates are plunging. This is very problematic for the economy. Yeah, I agree. It shows that Americans are struggling to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe so. The average credit card interest rate has ballooned to 19.6%, y'all. Woo, man. Meanwhile, credit card debt alone grew by 15% in 2022. It's the biggest year-over-year -year gain in 20 years, y'all. Rising consumer debt also indicates overall credit is expanding. This, by definition, inflation. Keep in mind, inflation isn't just rising prices. Properly defined, it is an expansion of money supply and credit. People can use credit to buy things and bid up prices. Federal Reserve uh, is still going to keep uh, interest rates too low. Okay, uh, talking about credit cards more there. You can read it for yourself, but uh, it also says there was another key part here. The Fed needs to discourage spending, not and an encourage saving. But that's not happening. I agree. The Fed is raising interest rates, but consumers don't care. They're just borrowing more and more money, spending more money. So the credit supply is expanding, and that is going to continue to put upward pressure on prices. 
Makes sense. The Fed is making no real headway in its battle against inflation. I have to agree there. Yeah, that's, you can see that. I had read where uh, 60% is estimated that, or more, I think it's more, 60% of Americans do not have $500 saved up for an emergency. Similar in Europe and in the UK. Um, we're in trouble. In trouble as a nation, for sure, on multiple levels. <laughs> I was just concentrating on the money for right now. But uh, prepare. I think we need to prepare for this. Keep or keep preparing. I know a lot of us are already doing a lot. Uh, you know, you know, to to prepare for this and and just strengthen our houses, circle the wagons, um, financially. Whatever we can do, every dollar we spend, try to save as much as we can. I know sometimes you have to spend. You have to have things. You know, you you have to have a repair on a car. You have to have a new appliance. You have to something breaks. You got to have shoes and clothes. So you have to spend some, just let's just spend as wisely as possible. You know, stock your pantry, take an inventory, look at what you have. If it's been a while, you know, it's easy to kind of get complacent as preppers. You know, we have a lot saved up and we think, oh, we're good. Most likely we don't have enough, you know, uh, or we don't have enough for uh, even, you know, a temporary emergency. You know, or that, that would probably wipe us out or, or, or knock a lot of stocks of our stock out. So look at your pantry, look at what you have stocked up and, and really examine it. To, uh, like I said, take an inventory and see where your holes are located and, and work on that little by little. You don't have to bust your budget. You don't have to uh, go and spend a whole lot of money, but just work at it day by day, week by week. Okay. That's... Um, that's my recommendation uh, right there. Um, you know, also the garden. We were talking about this earlier. I was talking about this earlier with Mrs. Dog. Now is a good time. I mean, we're we're in mid January. Before you know it, spring's going to roll around. So, if you're planting a garden, which I recommend you do, even if it's just small, even if it's a small raised bed, you know, look at what you need and plan. Uh, what do you need if, you, if you're going to do a raised bed? The supplies you're going to need, go ahead and get that now. Get your seeds right now. We saw a lot of seeds out there uh, this past weekend. We were running around and running some errands. They're in pretty good stock right now in a lot of places. So it's a good time to go ahead and grab your seeds, you know, and, and just plan what you want to uh, plant and, uh, and get your supplies ready. That way, when it starts... When it comes around, and it's going to come around before you know it, you're ready to just do it, okay? All right. I have a really good passage, really good passage to share with you guys. It is from John. Book of John, chapter 14, Verses 1 and 2, and this is when Jesus is talking to his disciples. He's trying to comfort them, kind of prepare them for what is coming. It says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? So he's setting them up. He, he's he's uh, letting them know, you know, have faith, believe in me, believe in the God, the Father. And uh, there are many rooms for you. And that is comforting to me. Um, not Do not let your hearts be troubled. It's easier said than done, you know, with all this happening and all these information you, you're getting is flying in all different directions at you. You know, uh, just take a deep breath. And keep praying and, and be comforted uh, by our faith. Share your thoughts. God bless you. I'll see you soon.